indeed excited to welcome you all for today's panel discussion on exciting field of space research. Good afternoon dignities, my name is Adarsh. My query is, if there is more than 2500 satellites orbiting Earth, how are they not colliding? So we have about 1.5 crore cars just in Bangalore. Okay. Now in space you are saying 2000. So on the surface, in just one city, one point, some one plus, one plus crores car are maybe they have one or two accidents, right? So you look at the probability of 2000, which is a very small number in comparison to one crore, colliding against each other in a spread out area. Very low probability, right? So although there are certain situations where satellites do come very close to collision, um, the probability is so low that to date only one collision has ever happened. From the date the first satellite was launched to now, only one collision has ever happened. So, and most of the satellites that we have in orbit also have propulsion, right? So satellites, sometimes if they are going to collide, they have the ability to move out of the way. So we can detect this and they are able to move out, okay? So maybe one satellite doesn't have the capability to move, another satellite has the ability to move. The one that has the ability to move, just move out of the way so that it can pass, okay? And also there is vertical separation and horizontal separation. Like flights take off and landing, no? In road we have limitation, same plane we have to travel. But space, they call spatial separation. 100 meter above, 100 meter above, like that also we can go. Flights are going like that only. Three, four kilometer separation, they all travel. And they have a communication system, they can avoid. Collusion avoidance, it is inbuilt in the satellite. They can avoid, navigate. Whenever we launch satellite, even ISRO, do this analysis. Next to 30 years, any probability is there, our satellite in 600 kilometer above Earth when they collide or when they come close, this analysis, good number of softwares are available. Orbital mechanics and orbital analysis. InBizar is working on orbital analysis only. Hello sir, I am Mihan and I have a question. Do you think our India will become a space research powerhouse? And if yes, how much time will it take to achieve it? So India is already a, a massive space research powerhouse. Right? If you look at the number of countries that have actually managed to achieve something like a moon launch, we are fourth in the line. Right? So if you look at that, we are actually already in top 10. Okay, we have 100, and, you know, 100 plus countries in the world, but we are already top 10. Right? So that way if you have to look at it, we are already a space research powerhouse. Now, if you want to say, are we going to be able to compete with the superpowers like China and the US and so on, we are getting there. Okay, our capability is nowhere less. It's just that we are little, most of the times we are a little late to the show. Okay, they do it, uh, they've done it so many years ago, we are doing it now. But the advantage over here is we learn from all their experience and they do it in the first shot. Okay, Mangalyaan mission. We did it in the first shot. First time itself we, we tried and we managed to inject the satellite in orbit. Okay. Why we are not able to get to the state where we are able to compete with the superpowers is because the funding itself involved, that is the money involved okay, in, in space development, in defense development in India is significantly lower than what the, what the superpowers are able to spend. That is USA, Russia, China and so on. Right. So, now we are seeing that the government is also noticing that there is a small gap. There is not a small gap, but a large gap okay, in the amount of funds that are being allocated. And slowly in every year, more and more budget is being allocated towards space and defense development. So as this happens, no doubt we will definitely catch up. But we are well within the capability to catch up very quickly. That means, as I said, what they did 10 attempts and then succeeded after the 11th, in the 11th attempt, we are able to do it in one attempt. So the moment we have the funds for it, we will catch up. Only one word of caution, this so-called superpower, powerhouse, these are all relative terms. So I am just to give one crude analogy. I, I, as a father in my village, I am not able to provide enough food or good dress for my son or daughter, but I want to possess a Mercedes-Benz car or Audi car, latest car. Is it, is it make any sense? It never makes any sense. So growth should be inclusive. That's why GDP-based Economical parameter has changed long back. Happiness index came into picture. Whether people are happy. So when people are not happy, when people are not have enough food, they are not able to send their children to good school or college, then that country building a superpower satellite or a big missile, no use. So we should be little careful. Sometimes this patriotism and nation, we just carried away by that emotion. So we should be little careful. But we are good in many ways. But we need not be good in every way because our population and our political system, uh, still inequality is more, untouchability is more, certain communities are not allowed to sit uh, in front of others, they are not able to wear chapel. Such a discrimination is there in this great country. So can we be proud of all these things? 
Even America with all this superpower status, black, white, racism is a big problem there also. So every country has their own limitation. First attempt we succeeded in moon mission and Mars mission. Even till today, Japan and China, though they are technically much, much superior than us, we have to accept the fact, but yet they could not able to succeed in their Mars mission. So in that sense, we are great. Somebody score very good marks in physics and chemistry, they fail in English literature or Tamil. Like that, there are criteria available. We don't need to inflate our ego with the name of superpower and powerhouse. It is a relative term. Growth should be inclusive. Mukku madhuram perisa arukka, kaadu madhuram perisa arukka, nama yara sandhosa padam niyadu. Moonji madhuram alaga arukkana. Illa manda madhuram perisa arukka, odamana kuchchi arukkana, we will laugh at them, cartoon character. So country also should be like that. It should be an organic growth. It should be inclusive growth. It should spread across the geography. One state grows and eight states are starving. It's not growth. So with that only we have to see power or super power. Thank you, sir. Sir, I am Lakshanya. I have a query. Why are all satellites launched from East Coast? Earth is rotating around the Earth. The entire cosmic universe, every planet is rotating. So when they take off, they should not interfere. Much energy required to overcome other way around. But Israel is doing, not East Coast. Because they have a hostile country around Israel. So even their aircraft cannot land directly crossing all the country. They have to go to Mediterranean Sea, navigate through the Mediterranean Sea. It's a international water. International water, then only they can enter. Their satellite also, they are launching like that. Opposite to the general practice. Now in uh, Kulasegara Patnam, in near Kanyagopari, Tutukudi, we are going to have our second uh, spaceport. In India, now presently we have a spaceport at Sirigarikota. There only we are launching. Now our uh, second uh, spaceport is going to come in near Kanyakumari, Kulasayar Padnam. Then also we will take the same route. We are advanced as whenever debris falls, it falls in ocean, not on people's head or house. This is also another reason. We always avoid the landmass. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, this is me, Dharun of Grade 8. And I have a query, which is like, if a student wanted to take his passion as a scientist, what is his pathway and which year he should start? It's a very good question, fantastic question. I could say that you want to become engineer or doctor or scientist or whatever it is, start from the young. Parents' responsibility is more here. But they are observing the kid 24 by 7. Teachers are there 6 hours or 8 hours in a class. Then they have to manage the 60 kids or 40 kids. It is very difficult for the teacher to understand the innate ability of the individual. So the banning desire, innate ability, that decides the future of the individual. They should understand. Food we have our own choice. Biryani I like, he like only mutton biryani, somebody like only idli, somebody like only pizza. So choices are there. So we have to catch them young and we have to nurture the passion. Passion has to drive your career choice. Is it possible to make satellites the size of a ball in a ball point, the tip of a ball point pen? Yeah, anything possible. 5 centimeter by centimeter, it's called Pico satellite. Your microphone size satellites are there. We can build and we can launch. But it lasts for a small time. We cannot have surface area to mount solar panel. So till the battery life is there, it will be in orbit. It will send whatever signal, what for it decides. So possible, very much possible. Hello, sir. Yes. This is Afrina. Is this satellite economic? That uh, How are the students going to afford for it? You make a small satellite. See, satellite is a tool for various applications. When we, as a student building a satellite, we are not going to compete with NASA or ISRO. It is an experimental tool. Whatever we studied in classroom, whatever theory in textbook, we want to apply to the real life situation. We are building a small robo or a radio or a satellite. So when we build, we build a small based on our availability of resources and the budget availability. 100 rupees also we can build satellite, 100 lakhs also we can build satellite. Good evening sir, I am Naresh Balaji. I have a question. In India, mostly research is not recognized. How do you think our nation will improve in research? by increasing the awareness about space research. Yeah, you cannot say that India it is not recognized. Whenever they give Padma Shri Award or Padma Pushan Award, two, three scientists are there. Many scientists become MPs also. Kasturangan become MP, Rajya Sabha MP. Kalam become President of India. Many college, all professors are well paid, two to three lakhs salary they are getting. Scientists and uh, people working in engineering technology, they are all recognized. But uh, yet to be done much more. It's not done adequately. It should be done much more. Hello everyone. I have a question. What is the biggest uh, 
challenge in space field and how can we overcome it okay uh, so the only biggest challenge that we have in space is the environment itself right so on ground anything that you build be it a mobile be it a car be it anything we are in a very controlled environment we don't have radiation we don't have large temperature changes we don't have all of these um, you know large uh, what to say variations in the in the environment like everything is stable in space temperature varies we have a lot of radiation we have to launch it so far there is vacuum okay so all of these these are the challenges that we have to overcome when it comes to any kind of design that we take on take up on ground in comparison to space hello sir my name is uh, sri vaisya of grade 6 uh, i have a question by putting this uh, satellite what do we get Yeah, it all depends on what purpose satellites are sent. There are weather satellites. They will give when tsunami comes, when rain comes, monsoon changes. These are all weather satellites. Many agriculture related satellites are there. Navigation satellites are there. GPS, what we are using in mobile phone. This is a constellation of 8 to 12 satellites, 22 satellites by various country. With the seven satellites, India made our own navig, like GPS, GNSS, plus plus like that. Every country has their own navigation system. It helps all our navigation. even flights are going from one country to other country takes atc control as well as gps uh, navigation system satellites are using gns as navigation hello this is sarvin from grade 11 how do you think this program will benefit or impact the economic importance of india the same thing see now space become a big economic powerhouse tons of money available 6000 plus satellite elon musk putting and going to provide internet so every second he is making money is providing internet from space it itself a proof that it is possible now earlier transponders were in geostationary orbit 35000 km above earth it is very expensive to send whereas now 600 km we have network of satellite 24 by 7 we are getting connectivity selling the images anything everything possible it's a big uh, industry that's why it become new space era every country allowed private player to participate in space program otherwise government only do do the best program earlier ini சர்வதேச கல்வி சாமானியர்களுக்கு கல்வி குரூப் ஆஃப் ஸ்கூல்ஸ்